check this place out. An old backyard in what used to be an industrial area. Now, as you can imagine, this soil has been exposed to a whole lot of waste and toxic material. And if you look closely, you can see the hard rubbish. The boys that live here have tried to get a garden growing with mixed results. Now, my thinking is the soil isn't good enough for growing. So, Paddy, how long have you been growing this garden for? Oh, look, it's about six months now. But, um, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's taking its time. Not really flourishing at the moment. It most possibly is the soil, and I think I've got a solution for you. Yeah, cool. So we're going to put together a, a raised garden bed today, made out of an old, uh, old fruit bin or apple crate. It's great that I've got Fabian here to help me. Finding a wooden box isn't too difficult, but he knows exactly where to put it, what kind of soil we need in it, and what's good to grow right now. What are we doing here, Fabian? We're just trying to level it out. I'm going to drop that back down, and we'll have a look. Looking good, Fabian. It's nice work, mate. So, Fabian, what are we using here to fill up the apple crate? All right, what we need is one bale of hay or straw. Um, we'll need half a bale of pea straw, half a metre of compost, um, some organic fertiliser, um, and then we'll also use some worm castings. We'll also use a bag of organic potting mix and compost. Could you talk to us a little bit about the concept of Little Veggie Patch LVP? Yeah, the Little Veggie Patch Company, basically we go in and install um, vegetable gardens for people. The other thing that we do is uh, old fruit bins, which we've got here, an apple crate, um, where we upcycle. So therefore we grab the old bin and then we uh, recondition it. We line it with some plastic just to add a bit of longevity to the life of the bin. And then we leave the bottom open for drainage. Raised garden beds work well in courtyards where potentially you don't have any soil whatsoever. So what are some of the environmental benefits of growing your own veggies? You're not having to go to the, sh the shop to necessarily to buy those, those vegetables. So you're cutting down your food miles. It teaches you about seasonality. It's not about being self-sufficient. It's about just being sustainable and, and subsidising. So you're always going out there go, all right, well, I've got some meat in the freezer. I'm going to defrost it. I'm going to make a meal. I've got some rocket outside, I'll go pick some rocket and make a salad and then all of a sudden you've got a meal. And now Fabian's told us what's what, it's time to get to work. And you can use straw as well. The first step is just the bale of hay. Break it up into what they call biscuits. Yep. So. Ooh, I'm hungry. Yeah. Layer biscuits down the bottom. Just act as a filler more than anything. Now we go grab some uh, compost. And away you go. Oh. So we need three of those pretty much. Oh, I'll go get them. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 three. here mate, just, just you know, bring the whole lot in and... Oh, you'll be here forever otherwise. So I'm just gonna compact it a little bit. And most gardening people go, oh, you're compacting the soil. But you're fine with this stuff. Um, it's quite, it's gonna sink quite a lot otherwise. So the yeah. idea is to actually compacted a little bit. Nice and soft. It definitely is. This is just a mixture of chicken manure, mm -hmm. blood and bone, and fish emulsion pretty much. Next step is to add our half a bale of pea straw, or you could use lucerne, which is high in nitrogen. So the idea is it's gonna help feed the plants with nitrogen. You lift, put it there. Now if you're finding this process a little strenuous, you can always spice it up a little bit by doing this little dance. Would you like? Up to you though. Now we add some more. Just two or three handfuls of fertiliser. More fertiliser. This is just a bag of compost, organic compost. What to look for whenever buying organic stuff is certified organic and they'll have a stamp. And the final touch, pistol resistance, is half a bag of worm poo. Good bacteria to add to the garden. So you're trying to bring the soil to life. Fab said it's best to let the soil settle for a couple of weeks, but the boys are getting very impatient, so we're going to plant the seeds today. So just cover those seeds so they don't get blown away. So there we have it, our brand new veggie patch. Fab's putting on the seaweed solution, and just in a few days' time we're going to see some sprouts, and in about six weeks' time, the boys are going to have some much needed nourishment. See you later, Brent. Hey! See you later, Fab.
Thank you.